Hey everyone. Hi. We are on our way to Johnson Creek, Idaho. Colleen and I, and uh, no EJ this time, so just Colleen and I solo. Hate flight. <laughs> we are going to try to make it to Johnson Creek, Idaho um, to go camping for the weekend. I say try because the weather, we're kind of picking our way across the country right now. Um, let's see if I can show you guys what I can see. So right now, this is what I'm looking at. And as you can see, there's a lot of colorful stuff on the screen. Um, luckily, when you're going a long ways across the country, you can kind of pick your way between the gaps. So, that's what we're doing right now. Yeah. Um, we left Red Wing about nine-ish this morning. Um, a couple of miles behind us uh, is Tim Olson and one of his friends in their RV-14. And a few miles ahead of us is another RV-9. Uh, we're also going to be meeting uh, Sean and Holly Strasberg in Johnson Creek. So, we'll see what we see. Uh, right now we're going to be landing in a few minutes in a small town in Nebraska. Wayne Municipal. Get some fuel and plan for our next step. So. Nice flight. So far it's been nice. Um, we were VFR on top for a little while. Now we're just VFR under a uh, maybe about an 8,000 foot ceiling. So we're not high and efficient like I like to be, but it's been a pretty smooth ride. Hey Pat, I'm not sure what you got for ceilings right now, but both Ed and I, I punched in 45 now, so I'm kind of headed down. That's Tim. I see you're still at 65, but whenever you feel like it, you can go down. So. We'll check in with you yeah, later. I'm still at 65, but actually... Bye. Oh, hey. Hey. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> so, we uh, just landed in uh, at the Wayne Airport in Nebraska. Is that right, Tim? Nebraska, in Nebraska. Yeah. Um, it is Tim number two's first time in Nebraska. No, Nebraska. What do you think? It's flat. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a little cloudy and I think Ed was just saying that we should be able to get to Wyoming in about an hour and 45 minutes. So we'll see you soon. Be an easy trip. Yeah. See you soon. on since the last time we checked in. Where are we, Ed? Uh, that is a good question. Let me hit the nearest button. We are by Medicine Bow, Wyoming. I'll let you Google that. So, uh, we are crossing kind of a whole lot of nothing out here. Um, if we landed at, uh, where was the place in Nebraska we landed? Started with a G. No, it didn't, did it? I don't remember. Oh, we, we just landed in... Oh, we just landed at uh, Camp Guernsey. Camp Guernsey. Uh, that was Camp Guernsey, Wyoming. Oh, uh, started with a W in Omaha. Like Watson or Wilson or... Wyatt? Uh, it was a town on the very eastern edge of Nebraska. So, we flew from Red Wing to this town on the eastern edge of uh, Nebraska. Then we flew from there to Camp Guernsey, Wyoming. And not any terrain to deal with there, but the the cloud situation was a little tricky. We started at 65, uh, kind of under a layer, then got um, up to about 85, between 85 and 10.5, some, between some layers, real nice air. Um, then we had to kind of circle around through a hole to get underneath that for the last 75 miles or so into Camp Guernsey. 
uh, fueled up at Camp Guernsey, and we launched and uh, kind of had to pick our way through the, the hills because the ceilings are not super high. But we found a safe route through. We're flying over I-80 right now. That is the path we're taking. It's kind of a good safe route to take through the through the mountains. Because you know you've always got an emergency run runway. It is just beautiful area. Um, kind of taking it all in. It's our longest trip to date and our first time going by the mountains. Uh, if, I look, if I look distracted, I'm just uh, watching Tim off my left wing here. Yep, keeping kinda, him in our eye. Kind of caught up on him. I mean, the clouds aren't real high, but almost unlimited visibility below them. And we got a, you know, 2,500 feet. So, we're doing good. And I can give you a little backseat tour here. Um, let's see. So. You can see that our back seat, we've got our food and everything, kitchen in that clear tote. We've got our cooler back there with our cold stuff. We've got uh, the oxygen ready to get turned on should we need it. And we've got all the stuff that we don't need accessible right away in the back seat. And uh, we're pretty comfy cozy in here. Yeah, I would say we're real comfortable. And uh, we're just kind of taking it all in right now. Earlier we were listening to the Hamilton soundtrack, the Broadway big show. Recommend it to anyone. Listen to it. It's awesome. Check it out. Yeah, it's very, very cool musical. Yeah. So, right. yeah, maybe uh, give a little pan tour of the outside. Oh, sure. And see... Mr. Tim Olson maybe over there. Yeah, he's probably going to show up like a dot because it's set at, I think, oh. medium. But still. GoPro selfie! <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Check next in with you later. Next stop, Salt Lake City. Woohoo! I can see Johnson Creek now, so it's in the shade. Wapiti, is that uh, light patch down there? Yep. So I'm just going to stay on the, and I keep saying upwind, but I mean, I need to yep. stay downwind. <laughs> but I just stay on the, uh, you know, the east side of this thing. Be 100 or 200 feet over the ground on some of the spots. Is this the property meadows we're supposed to report right here? 
Yeah, I'm just making a report right now. And that Jones Creek traffic. Criminal uh, Olympic Romeo, we got four of it uh, over Wapiti and entering the downwind for 17 South the Creek. There's Johnson Creek down there. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually not as tight as I was worried it was going to be.
high five. Yeah, yeah. And that is Johnson Creek. Booyah. This is amazing. We're at Johnson Creek and we hiked up one of the mountains and they have this cast iron tub on the side of a mountain and uh, we were talking to the owners and years ago they had like a, the family hauled this cast iron tub up to the top of this mountain and it's fed by a mountain stream, a hot spring and it's unbelievable just laying in the warm tub looking at this scenery. It's an incredible thing. I'm glad we picked Johnson Creek. Johnson Creek traffic, experimental A2, Niner, Aqua Charlie, we're a flight of two, taking off 3-5, departing to the north, Johnson Creek. Beautiful, huh? Well, it is Sunday evening, 7.30 about. Um, and we are about 45 minutes from home. We had kind of an adventurous trip home. Well, I guess not really adventurous. We uh, got a late start because of some mechanical problems with one of the planes that was with us. Um, so probably left Idaho maybe two, two and a half hours after we wanted to. But um, it was a great flight home. Flying over the mountains out of Johnson Creek was kind of cool. That was very cool. Um, we didn't have to be all that high. I mean, I think we were 11.5, between 11.5 and 13.5, and we had no problems with anything. Weather was beautiful. Um, not real windy in the mountains, so that wasn't too bad. We didn't have to dodge storms like we did on our way nope. over here. That was nice, free and clear. Just, there's, we haven't had a cloud to like fly around. It's been fantastic. It's a little hazy from all the forest fires. It's still a little hazy, even though we're in Minnesota now. But um, So yeah, after uh, getting out of the mountains in Idaho, we overflew uh, Yellowstone. That was so cool. And as we were turning to get a great view of Old Faithful, what do you know? 
It just happened to erupt and say hi. Yeah, so Old Faithful went off as we were circling. Yeah, and that's pretty cool because, like you were saying, it only happens, what, like? Once an hour or so, but only for a few minutes. So we, we saw that. And also the um, uh, prismatic. Grand prismatic spring. Oh, that was beautiful from the Gorgeous air. Gorgeous from the sky. Yeah. And then uh, flew over Lake Yellowstone, kind of over the, the next uh, set of mountains there. Plane's been running great. Been just a smooth ride home, good tailwinds. We still have 10 knots of tailwinds. Um, we had 23, 24 for a little while across uh, Wyoming. Um, we were 11.5 most of the way home, so just to take the edge off and feel better, we were on, on oxygen. I think we might look at getting uh, our own oxygen system. Uh, the one we had was lent to us uh, kindly enough by Tim Olson, so thank you, Tim. And uh, yeah, now we're gonna have to go buy our own. Yeah, it was very nice. I felt great. Yeah. So, hoping to get home and uh, see EJ by 9 p.m. Pretty much in time to take him home and put him to bed. But Puddle, go to bed. Wake up for work tomorrow. Yay. All in all, a fantastic trip. A great trip. Great, Johnson great. Creek is an amazing destination. Um, highly recommend it to anyone who feels comfortable flying in the mountains like that. Uh, just fantastic campground. I, I can't, I can't the, say The enough. amenities were just wonderful. Wi-Fi, beautiful cut, showers. Cut firewood, showers. Yeah, um, cut firewood. Portable water everywhere. Nice campsites with camp rings. Yeah, just all the firewood you wanted to burn. They just had it. We camped next to a trickling creek. Yes, well, Johnson Creek. Yes. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> we camped next to Johnson Creek. <laughs> so, but yeah, just amazing and the video and the pictures just don't do it justice it you're happen. you're just right at the bottom of this fairly steep canyon and it's just it's incredible and probably I, one of the most incredible things i've experienced yeah i, I can't wait to go back um, there's a couple other backcountry strips uh on the eastern range in montana that i really want to check out but we will definitely be going back to johnson creek oh yeah so that was this trip and I have no idea where the next one's going to be. This one was kind of a a call from Tim about two weeks ago and said, hey, you want to go Johnson Creek? I'm like, sure, why not? So, yeah, we'll see what the next one brings. Stay tuned. Later. <laughs>